Divesting gone horribly wrong. I mean horribly. Divester learns she's only good for back shots. While all of this was going on, people speculated the identity of Goddess's fiance that Luna had mentioned. A woman named Jasmine, who also goes by Jazz or Blaze, popped up and claimed to be Goddess's spouse. It's clear that Goddess had been trying to keep his relationship with Jasmine a secret, as he deleted and re-uploaded his South Florida subscriber meetup specifically to edit her out of the video. As you can see, the re-uploaded video is shorter than the original, and Jazz is nowhere to be found. Jazz, however, is very erratic and mentally unstable, and she regularly revealed information that Goddess did not want public, especially in chat rooms like Discord. Here she is claiming that uh, if she didn't delete her Patreon, and that she was willing to be an accomplice. Keep in mind that everything she says should be taken with a grain of salt. This does, however, line up with a video that Goddess posted, stating that he would be forced to come after Luna in the Netherlands if she didn't delete her Patreon. Jazz posted a video lamenting the fact that she felt she was being used, that he wouldn't allow her on live streams, and that Gattis didn't truly love her. It seems like Gattis had originally planned to use Jazz for her money and a car during his trip to the USA, as well as potentially marrying her for residency. Well, I came out here to tell you guys a story of how we got together, but it's like, I don't know what the, I thought I had the energy to say it, but I'm just like too sad right now because I, I feel used and I know you guys will say, well, duh, you're being used. There's no way you can actually pull him or whatever, which is really fucked up to say to a person, right? That like, I look a certain way, so I can't get the man of my dreams or whatever. I, I just had hope in this relationship with him. I wanted the rumors about him to be false. I wanted him to be just some misunderstood guy that was looking for love. That's what I always saw in him was like, he wanted love and stuff. And I don't want to be lied to. And I just have this fucking feeling like I'm being lied to. Like he doesn't actually care about me. Like he doesn't. Like, he's indifferent in that if I had nothing to offer him, he would just leave. I have a person that I'm with who was supposed to be the man of my fucking dreams, right? The guy that I was in love with forever many years. And I don't even trust him! Later that month, Gattis started a live stream with the title Severe Depression Livestream. In it, he talked about suffering depression because a girl that he wanted to be with left him after an argument. Jasmine confirmed that he wasn't referring to her in a comment on her YouTube channel. Jazz then uploaded an angry rant on her SoundCloud where she screamed that Gattis for leaving her. social media for a while after this so this black woman went crazy over a broke vegan white man who only wanted to smash her from behind did she not get the hint this white man was never going to marry you he was just using you for a green card notice she was enamored by his whiteness she pointed out his icy blue eyes yet the white man doesn't even acknowledge her divesting gone wrong 